Good day, daring drifters. I'm on silent and we're on the air with more Need for Speed Underground 2. It's episode 35 of Underground 2. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to start out with a little bit of drift action here. We've got the RX-7 out. Because I'm working under the hypothesis that this is a good drift car. Because trying to drive it on the road is not as easy as it looks. And so what we're going to do is we're going to try and see Whoa, that was a big drift. That was a good drift. Sorry, it was a colossal drift earlier. There we go. I mean, I wasn't wrong. This thing is... Because of all the power, it just wants to break traction very quickly and easily. It doesn't take a lot of effort to get the thing sideways. It's more my efforts trying to not slow down and lose too many multipliers. Or hit walls and lose multipliers. I don't know, it seems to have a different idea of... Sometimes we're chaining them to get together. That was almost a wall. That would have been bad. No bonus points for almost clouting the wall, but not clouting the wall. Now, didn't quite get to, uh, whoop, superb drift. I was going to say, we didn't get to Colossal, uh, Colossus, Colossal Drift, Colossus Drift. Eh, one of them. Oh, we finally hit a wall. Man, Dan's found... Dan's found a massive drift of his own. We had to back it right down there so we didn't hit the wall and lose that whole drift. So we got 30 seconds to, and a ticking clock to find 17 grand more points. It's doable. We just did it. Just. Okay, so maybe... Maybe the RX-7 is an okay drift car. We're not going to get any rep for that. We hustled that damn thing. I thought for sure we weren't going to have enough uh, enough to pull that off. Let's take a quick gander at the race stats. I just... Uh, everyone else top speed to 70 on the nose each time. is like... Eh, I didn't even complete the last lap. That's how slow my average speed was. But my longest drift was 10 seconds. But not my best drift score, right? The second lowest best drift score. I mean, I guess at the end of the day, scoreboard. Hang on. One more. Scoreboard, right? It works itself out. Now, last time I pointed out, I guess really in the ending, was at the gas station here. There was this uh, street hex here. Now, I'm not going to do the street hex in this because I think that would go... It might go okay, but I think it would go poorly because there's no handling put into this current street hexes. Are pretty handling it. Back to the docks. I swear we just did that one, right? Hang on a second. We'll swap some cars. Just like that. Uh, so, what's up, nut? <sighs> you want to run some street hex with us? Well, you stay near the back of the pack and watch how it's done. I'd feel bad if I was to hurt a tweaker like yourself. I'll drop you the map so you can stay out of the way. It's another docks-based street hex. That we can do, but because this is a hidden race, technically, uh, it's a double price, so four thousand dollar redos. Now, with the extra brakes that we bought in the last episode, I do feel like we will be more competitive than usual. 
And it's arm drop and, well, hey, we actually had good acceleration off the line. We got squeezed into the walls. Everyone tries to bash their way into that first turn. I was trying to do the up and undercut like that because I figured they'd all do something stupid and run wide. I was going to say, we ran this one. I, I know I said, didn't we just run this one? But I'm pretty sure we just ran this one in reverse. Let's say he uh, missed the target. And the Supra. I can tell it's the Supra. One, based on how it looks. But two, because it sounds like it's from a Gran Turismo game. And there's a game that you could do the for the retrospective is one of the Gran Turismo ones. The retrospective, if you're, uh, if you're new here, or you're just interested in, uh, in, uh, this racing, you know, Wide Open Wednesdays or uh, Need for Speed, uh, every month I do a special video, sort of a, a longer form video. This month, well, actually, no, wait, we're in November now. Uh, I was gonna say, last month's October's was what the port about Doom, the month before that was, uh, one month before that was Retro Versus, in which I compare classic and modern games. So that was DuckTales versus DuckTales Remastered, Retro versus Modern. And then the month before that was, uh, that was the retrospective of Spyro the Dragon, right? And did a, a, uh, feature-length review on Spyro the Dragon, the history of it, how it came to be, and it's, uh, what it was, how good was it, how bad was it, but well, it was good, Spyro was awesome. But, uh, and sort of the influences that carried forward and how the future of the series and where its place in gaming is. Which one could do with Spyro 20 years past the uh, release of the game. And then uh, Demonstration Derby is the other one that might show up every month. And I think that's where I'm leaning for this month is Demonstration Derby. So 200 rep for my, uh, was it, uh, almost four second win. And that's worth 4,000 cash. And as we know, cash is good. I assume I just, yeah, beat them in a straight line. Oh, it's an ARC-7, not a... Like I said, it was a... Sounded like it was at a Gran Turismo 1. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying it's, it's a good game. What's they said that, the game, that they all sounded like uh, in Gran Turismo 1? They say the joke was they all sounded like vacuum cleaners? And welcome to our next stop! We did unlock a special event in the last, in the last episode. Oh, by the way... After that last race, we have unlocked a URL. Now, just because uh, I keep forgetting, there's nine URLs we had to do. And there are 35, so... Now, after three more... So we've done three world events and a URL. I, I think it was three in a URL, and it would have had to have been, yeah, three in a URL here. Because we did two world events last time and the third one this time. And we've unlocked another URL. Which is interesting spacing, because it, it's it's kind of an awkward spacing there. Because 35 into 9 doesn't go particularly cleanly. It goes like 39 into into 6. The 36. Th sorry, uh, 36 into 9. Or 9 into 36, sorry. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for 9 times 4 equals 36. That's what I'm trying to get to in my head, but I can't say it. Because I'm busy. I'm busy. My head times tables and, and, and like numbers are just flying through like I'm goddamn Sherlock from that, from the, um, from the BBC series, the modern BBC series, the uh, Steve Moffat series. And so that's what's going through my head is, is sort of that. <laughs> no. So it's like, yeah, so um, 9 times 3 is 27, 9 times 4 is 36. So 35 just kind of, just kind of is not in a great spot. So you're probably going to see every, I guess, on, on that pacing, every sort of 3 to 4 world events. It would make sense to, uh, in, to, to have a, URL, so. Boat. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah, uh, this is the, uh, this is a special event so for a magazine or magazine cover. Okay, let's get a magazine DVD cover. Magazine cover. A minute 45. So, 105 seconds on the clock, and here we go. Whoo, that's a hike. So we are going to now race it through the steel mill. That's the back half of it from the looks of it. We are 
avoid that guy racing his way through. We're going to take the left back towards Highway 7. Now, the question is, we're going straight. Okay, I was going to... Oh, apparently I was going that way. Sweet! We're going to take a left up here. We're going to take a left right here. We're going to go the wrong way up the off-ramp. Have I mentioned before that... Whoa! That was close. I assume I'm coming up to a left soon. Okay, apparently we're still going this way. It was happy with me going left until I spun it. <laughs> it's a perfect pirouette, though. We're gonna take a right here. And then next left. And right there. You're stepping it up, and Import Tuner has taken note. Your car is on the cover. Import Tuner. Driving a Ford. Oops. Uh, oh, well. Apparently I just clicked through way too fast. Fortunately, this will be saved in the thing. I'll fly it up for you right now. Now, what I do is if I see if I can't find a Price is Right uh, sound effect to cover that up. Yeah, okay, we're good. And then live-ish, ish, ish, from the Hotel Plaza segment, here we are. It's, uh, we're gonna do a sprint! So I'm going through my head, like, what did we do? Well, like, I mean, we just did, uh, we've done a, we've done a, a drift and a street exit in this one. So, we did a drag the last time. Wow, there's a lot of drags over there. How are we doing for ones that are left? So it's, so that's one, two, three, four. So four circuits. One, two, well, that's the sponsor, so it's two, three, four drags, four drifts, one, no, that's a, that's a sponsor, two, three, four sprints, probably fewer the street X, one, two, three, four, uh, well, it's three because sponsor, so we got, f if you exclude the sponsor, we got like 20 more races on the map, plus the three sponsored of each, so maybe if we tackle... Another sprint here, and maybe we do the drag. Now well, we could just do everything. Notice I'm saving the URL for, like, the next time or something, but... Anyway, so we got ourselves a sprint from the airport to right around here at Hotel Plaza, or vice versa, from Hotel Plaza out to the airport. But through Cole Harbor. I should say through Cole Harbor East as well. So we might have a fountain section to do. You know I love saying fountain section. More, more racing games need to have Long Beach Street Circuit in it. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. From the airport to downtown Hotel Plaza-ish. Arm drop and we're gone and everyone is slowly but surely thinking about doing the uh, doing the NOS. I'm hoping the golf is just going to go. He's not, so we're just going to have to power by him. So it looks like we're on pace for about... For a little on, over two minutes. The two to two and a half minute range. As we go through. No, okay. No, oh, no jump cam there. There's the jump cam! We're gonna get wide here. Bring it down. We're going to the on-ramp. All right. Through on the on-ramp through the fish barrels. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it wide. That I didn't need to break there. I could have held that, not flat, but I could have at least breathed the throttle there. And again, I could have done the same there. Now that one, I should have just gone through. Through the middle. Okay, looks like I'm caught on the wrong side. We'll switch over. How are we doing? 20% to go. <laughs> I 
That was a thing that happened. It's through the snail section. There, I just I just came up with a name for it. All right, we'll just dump the boost, every last ounce of it, and there we go, across the line. That was a little, faster than I was anticipating, but we got through it in one piece. That was close. Traffic kind of did play a big factor in that, though. No rep, but I think that was kind of expected. I'm assuming I was fastest, if only because, yeah, I just dumped a whole gob of boost at the end. Which, I mean, you know. You're, you're trying to get that, you know, you're trying to get, one, secure the win, right? But two, you're also trying to secure the rep. And, uh, you know, we were successful in one, unsuccessful in the other. But I'd rather, I'd rather that big winner's bonus. I'd rather that big P1 right there than I would the rep. I mean, we still haven't seen what rep does in this game. It's got to cash in at some point, right? There's action in the airport area, so why not roll out there for a one-mile drag race? Our boy John. We've talked about Johns in the past. Well, the ones that spell their name J-O-N at any rate. <laughs> well, we've talked about Johns in the past, and John thinks that he's going to take $2,000 from us. And I say, pay up sucker. Remember Jesse James from Monster Garage? Didn't he have pay up sucker tattooed on his palm? Pretty sure. I know someone does. I was pretty sure it was Jesse James from Monster Girls. Remember when he was married to Sandra Bullock? He was married to Sandra Bullock, wasn't he? Not just dating or engaged. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, let, no, less celebrity gossip and reminiscing of... Monster Garage was probably, what, late 90s, early 2000s? Might be on Motor Trend On Demand, I don't know. Anyway, yes, racing. No, oh, we do not like being... Well, okay. We know that the construction stuff doesn't really slow us down, but I'm a little annoyed. I'm in the wrong car. That's why I was looking for 8500. I was like, where the hell is it? Woo! Jump cam! So I was looking in the wrong spot for. I was looking at the. I was looking at the revs. I was like, "Wait a minute, where? That's not where I'm supposed to be." I mean, we could give it another try, but I mean, it's just like I'm looking for. I'm looking for my for for my rev indicators. I'm not looking at the middle of the screen. I'm looking at the. I'm looking at the at the tack on the left, and I'm looking for it, and I'm just like, where, "Where's everything? It's not there because I'm on the wrong one." I was fastest because I dumped a whole bunch of shit at the end. We were faster than John, but we can't we can't submit to John's tyranny. All right, so it was what about? It was at, uh, yeah. I was say sixty five was the start, and like about eighty one was the uh, was upshift. We're gonna just slide underneath him there. They all wrecked. We might actually be able to get by. <laughs> we want to drag race with the focus. We want to drag race with the focus. Because everyone else was doing something stupid. <laughs> Can we watch that on the replay? Can we watch that on the replay? I know I said I was going to try and speed up the videos. So we could get through more stuff, but... Um... Oops. Um, let's try... Oh, somebody got whapped out the wall. Hang on, let's watch that again. Oh my. They squeezed each other. One of them hit the wall. And the other one got almost spun into the wall, got put into the wall by that. Jeez. That was a four. And then somebody punted us from behind. That was a very fortunate turn of events there because it's like I we probably would not have won if they hadn't killed each other so um that was fortunate that it worked out 
uh, beneficially for us. But yeah, no, I wasn't. <laughs> I thought ah, I picked the wrong car. We're gonna get nowhere. Okay, mm but it worked. It worked. That's the important thing. Wait, race stats. Yes. Oh, John found some speed. He probably would have won had he not squeezed uh, Matt's GTO into the wall. So, and from inside the steel mill. Hang on, let's back it up. From inside the grounds of the steel mill, we're here for a uh, circuit race. We're just going to complete the cycle today. But we could also... Oh, we could get a carbon trunk from any Bayview area body shop. Carbon trunk? I assume as opposed to because we had... I wish it would do these unlocks... Uh, sort of more... Like, by, uh, chronologically? Because didn't we just get a, a trunk layout? I swear we did. What do I know? Game tips, special events, Rachel. Unlocks. I swear we got another trunk layout one at some point. But yeah. So we came over here to the steel mill. I'm gonna do a circuit because we've done... We start with the, the drift with the RX-7. We just did the drag with the focus. We did the sprint with the focus. We did the street X with the focus. And now we're going to use the focus for this as well. Right. Steve, use the thumbstick to steer, not the not the, not the D-pad. It's been a, been a while since we've had to use the D-pad for that sort of stuff. But, all right, so we circuit through the hole of Coal Harbor, both east and west. And uh, we've seen Coal Harbor is very tight and tricky, very, very properly street circuity. So uh, this could be uh, this could be a uh, this could be a battle. And this is one where I don't mind starting on the outside. Everyone's got these outlandish designs on their car. And it's arm dropping away we go. People are using the nitrous. Hey, we know this turn. We've already done this one in the past. Now we've got brakes on the car. So we'll be in a little better shape. We did overcook that a little bit. Eh. The nice thing for me. Nope. Just overcooked it. Just looking for a little too much through there. Uh, it was a squeeze and a half. That's what we're going to do. Nope. We're not going... To jump that curb. I could have gone straight. Oh well. Eh, no, it was for the best that we went this way. So the nice thing is this circuit ends with uh, the big highway section. Oh, that was an invisible wall. Well, we got one position back. Had to dive out of that guy's way. The more long and fast sections there are, the more it is to my advantage. Because look at all the time. We're catching up. Oops. I was just all sorts of out of position for that turn. Yeah, well, okay, so it's not as fast through there, but we could probably catch him up nice and easy through here. Yeah. Took the lead there. I probably didn't need to break there. Man, did you... Oh, no, it's not a hairpin this time. And I lost that position because I was thinking of the wrong track. Tightening chicane there. That's tricky. Find the gap, feather it. Do not hit the stairs there. Let's try this just to see. Jump him! Eh, it's a, still a viable option there. It's not a huge advantage. But it might be marginally faster. 
Now be careful here because you know there's an invisible wall that, there. Woo, that was close to the wall there. And somebody's up my chuff, I can hear him. Gabriel, he was, oh, two tenths. Oh, he hit a wall. So that'll give us a little bit of breathing. Clean section, I forgot that was a thing. <laughs> Steve Rex so often he forgets that clean section bonuses are a thing. Jump cam! Oop, yeah. No! Hi. We like that shortcut. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to come out and spit out right into traffic like that, but hey. Oh. Spit, jump, something to that effect. We got that extra boost for leading a second consecutive lap. Ah, right, not a hairpin. I kept setting it up like it was a hairpin. So I took that turn like it was a hairpin and gave up all sorts of time because I'm expecting to keep going left. Because I came at it the wrong way. Just to kiss off the barrier there. 90 left, be careful because they like to dive in. There we go. Uh, this shortcut will do. We're ahead of what? Ewan? Is that how you say that name? Like, I know Ewan McGregor. Of Airbnb. Oh, God. Where was I? Yes, Ewan McGregor of Star Wars fame. Yes, I know he's done a whole bunch of other stuff. What else has he done? Big Fish. Seen that one. Da, 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 da. I'm trying to think of other. I've not watched Train Spotting or the sequel. So I'm not familiar with him from that. I just know you and really from, from Star Wars. There's some crazy old hermit. Whee! Shh! We'll be fine. How much nitrous does one have? There, that is all the nitrous we have. So it ends up being a 6 plus second victory, 627. Over Ewan in the A3, Gabe in the IS300, and Andy in the Carola. So that's good enough for 202,000. That fits, doesn't it? So, yeah, race stats, obviously, we were going to... Eh, well, the IS was pretty close. Yeah, but we were always going to be the fastest just because we had all that NOS to dump, so... But, yeah, and so we also had the fastest lap time. Shockingly. I know we don't always manage to pull that off, even when we're leading the whole way. But we did this time, so... G and G. Streetcar Magazine's reps are scoping around, so look sharp. Well, hey, at least this one will be uh, appropriate for us, Street Car Magazine. Because we all, okay, we've already done a, a special event, so let's take that off the table. Did a URL last time. Do you want to do, what's in the neighborhood? The, that's close, where's, the, okay, that's out of the way, and, okay, so the closest sponsored race is going to be the Street X. So I say we do the Street X this time, but we'll do the URL special event next time. Oh, and I'm assuming this text, yeah, Streetcar up, or Streetcar Magazine. That was what the text was. So. What we'll do is, uh. That one's not on the map. Let's see, I hate. Yeah, no, that was on the map. I apologize, that wasn't, was on the map. We don't do, we don't go for drives anymore. Okay, we haven't gone drive for, for a drive for a whole week, but still. And always nice to go for a drive. That was just me trying to cheese the system there. I'm assuming to the right here. Oh, cash. Cash is good. I wonder, can we, hang on, wait, 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 wait. Can we jump, drive? No, we can't. I was hoping we could use this as a ramp, but no, we can't. It is a shame. Okay, so. Oh, I've got a. Confirmation of shipment details for item from Canada Post.
That's... Oh, wait, I know what that is. I think I know what that one is. Okay. No, I will, uh... uh I don't know if I will have... I assume I will have that in by the time, uh... I by the time it comes in. Uh, if it is, I will fly a picture of it on the screen. And if not, what I ordered was, uh... You guys know I'm a wrestling fan. Big Bret Hart fan growing up. I was very disappointed. They came to my hometown twice in, in the 90s. I don't even think it's on the record. So if you go looking up... <laughs> where did Bret Hart not show up in the 90s? It won't be there because I don't even think there's records of these shows. But I went there and I met uh, a, um, a city councilor, a guy who's a now a city councilor, uh, who is engaged to somebody that used to work for me. And we were talking about this once. It's like, because we were both at those shows. Um, there was a couple of WWF house shows here in my hometown in the mid-90s. And uh, Brett didn't show up either time. We got The Undertaker the second year, though. Undertaker versus Kama Mustafa in a casket match. That was the main event. I think it was Sean versus Sid was the, was the, was the semi-main uh, for the IC title. Anyway, yeah, so uh, I bought a, uh, the Calgary Hitmen were doing a, a fundraiser, prostate cancer fundraiser, so yay, the special Bret Hart Calgary Hitmen jerseys, and I just bought one. And I was going to say, if it wasn't, and it's like, how does this have anything to do with Bret? It was like, well, one, two things. One, Bret was, oh, we've never gone that way before, have we? I don't think so. Interesting. One, uh... Brett used to own the team or co-own the team, so that's why it was named Hitman. It was the Calgary Hitman after Brett Hitman Hart. It doesn't anymore, but they still do Brett Hart themed stuff. And in this case, because Brett had cancer a few years back, they they're doing a cancer fundraiser with it. Which I, so I mean, it's like you know, it's like you get some Brett merch. I might still have the Brett shirt I bought like in the '90s somewhere. I don't know. Maybe my mom has it in a box somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> So, anyway, let's, uh, yeah, let's go race. Admit it, you guys miss that. You guys miss having me talk about random shit like that. <laughs> Steve, it's been a week. Well, two, really. Oh, up on top of the hill? Uh, maybe this is... Maybe this is familiar, and I'm just... Oh my goodness, this is just a... Shockingly, this URL is just a... A demolition derby. I didn't get the suspension upgrade, right? He says, thinking, well, maybe I... All right, that's not the hairpin. That's a double left. Take it differently. It's the same thing with the... No, no nitrous. I don't know if I'm just overcooking it. I'm just getting a little anxious. I think that's probably part of my problem. There we go. Hit the downhill. We're better through the downhill than the rest of them. Can't get the power down out of that last hairpin. I start giving back time here. That's the best I've taken that one. Sadly, I don't have enough time to make up for all the other mistakes I made. I don't think I did too badly there, just having a little trouble at first. Learning the track, just learning the braking points, because even if you've run it before, and after running it a couple laps, I'm pretty sure I've done it before, it's just still, every upgrade changes how you have to approach things, so it's just a matter of relearning, relearning, reprogramming, so. Alright, and go, go, go for the Street X, it's the Conic Street X. Conic Street X Carnage! There we go, that's what I'm looking for. So there's one guy carnaging himself out. 
There's the second guy carnaging himself out. And let the Lexus through. There's the problem is... By the time you fight your way by these idiots... There we go. Sorry, there's a lot of concentrating happening here. It's trying to hit the apex right on the... It's trying to attack the second apex there. Where are we? Last lap? Okay. We're almost in attacking distance, actually, so that's good. That's how attacking distance we're in. We're hitting the fitch barrels. Ah, we just cocked up that hairpin and that cost me. We're right there. Nice good T-bone though. All of my medium rare. Third time lucky. I got a feeling about this one, right? There we go. Get the hell out of the way and hope for the best. That's the trickiest of the bunch with that one right there. He says as he comes up to this one, which he always cocks up. So. There we go. First lap. I swear survival might be more important than actual skill. It's funny because I was watching the iRacing stream bottom split on uh, on iRacing, and uh, the guy there, Mr. Worth, had uh, gone three had gone three laps down early in the going. All he was said he was trying to do was stay out of trouble, right? And as he figured the race in Martinsville, short track, he figured everyone else is going to get disqualified. I'll be able to, if I stay out of trouble, I'll be able to, like, win the race. End up three laps down on that strategy. Charges his way back, and thanks to Carnage, just staying out of the Carnage, he managed to finish ninth. And it's like, basically, that's what I needed to go for here, is don't go fast. Just stay the hell out of everyone's way. Because they're all going to take themselves out. Just get the hell out of the way, and just avoid the wreck, and you'll be fine. That's the worst I've taken that turn in about, like, I don't know, at least eight laps. There we go, across the line. Third time lucky, I told you, I had a good feeling. Alright. Only 200, if I had gotten, if I had gotten that last couple tenths, I would have been fine. Well, 21 hundredths, but, or nope. Sorry, I was doing the math the wrong way. I was subtracting 73 from 9, or 92 from 73, and as opposed to the other way around. I'll be alright. But yeah, 232.25 as we hit our first sponsor race for Koenig. Tick. Just like that. Race stats, I'm assuming, yeah, we were definitely the fastest top speed. Did we have the best lap? Uh, 2409? Yes, we did. So, even without the fancy suspension, you're fine. It's because of the uh, twin-layered rear wing. That's what kept the car. That's what, that's what won it. Well, we know that's the jump's not going to work, so oh well. This is a shit attempt at a burnout. Oh well. But hey, we got out of here. Man, complete the site. Oh, what we got six done today? Which you know, let's be honest. Like when you've got. Oops, that's the wrong one. When you've got to do 35 plus 3 plus 9. So you've got to do 47 races. It's like... I can appreciate... 
Like, that's gonna take some time, so it's like, I'm just looking for some way that, you know, we can still do a decent LP and we can still have some fun, but still not take, like, you know, months to do- Whoa! What was that, son? And he hits me again. And I've rolled it on the barrels. You know what? I think we're just gonna... I'm just, just gonna call it a day here. I It's just not safe for me to drive anymore. We'll, uh... Reconvene next time. On Need for Speed Underground 2. But until then, I'm Unsilent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. The social media handle is Unsilent on air. And that is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. Don't forget you can check out more Need for Speed Underground 2 in the playlist. It's on the screen in the description down below. And more videos anytime on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm Unsilent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe. And we'll see you next time.